Hey guys, this is MGS back with you to give you another part of my Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. And we are still in the Pokemon Mansion. And now that I've explored all of these rooms on the left hand side, I'm going to take a visit into the uh, garden um, owner's uh, room. His office, rather. So let's head inside. And um, the owner doesn't have anything interesting to say, so I'm just going to bypass him and pick up TM87 Swagger. If you do talk to him, all he does is uh, he boasts about his garden. So that's pretty much it, and that police officer's just going to tell me to stop touching that statue because it's off limits. So let's continue on to Route 212 as soon as I exit this uh, mansion. So now it's time to go bike riding. As I try to seek out some more trainers to battle on my way to Pastoria City. And so um, I'm about to come across the uh, wild grass where I may uh, end up finding my first Pokemon. And let's see what. Pokemon it'll be if I do end up running into one. Oh, here's one. Turned out to be a Starly, but I already caught a Staravia. So I don't need to catch this, so I'm just going to run. I have to pick up the item behind a sign, which is an elixir which is an excellent PP restoring item. So I'm uh, heading down the steps and here is the part of the route that's pouring. So I'm going to be having a double battle with these two rangers. Ah, so you like to protect the natural environment. Um, that's a very good uh, thing to do. Gotta keep this place as green as possible. Okay, it's time for that double battle with uh, Pokemon Ranger Allison and Pokemon Ranger Jeffrey, who sends out Apom and Prinplop. So I'm gonna be using my Zuni and Anna as the torrential rain pours down on the battlefield. So my Zuni will go for a fly on Apom, while my Anna uses strength on that print plot. So there goes Zuni flying high in the sky, and Anna using strength on that print plot. And that strength was able to one hit KO, which is great. And Apom uses Baton Pass, which is a move that allows the user to switch out into another Pokemon. And Allison switched out to her Marrow, which is an ideal Pokemon to use in the rain. So Jeffrey sends out another Print Blub, so they both have Water Pokemon. It's no match for my Anna, though, who is a pretty strong uh, Water Pokemon herself. So Zuni used Fly on that Marrow. And it was a one-hit KO. So now Anna's going to use strength on uh, their other print blub, the evolved form of pit blub, which I still feel sad about um, in this nuzlocke because that was my starter that I started off with, and 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 it actually died in the first gym. So I'll never forget about that. So they have another Apom. I'm going to use Fly on that, and I'll just finish Print Plup with a Cut, since I hardly use Cut inside of battle. So Zuni went for another Fly, though so Anna cut down Print Plup to size. 
So Apom is astonished but missed because Zuni is in the sky. So Anna's uh, going for Rock Smash. It's not gonna matter because Zuni's going to come down from the sky to use Fly. That's a dead Apom. Because Apom has terrible defenses. So I've beaten these Pokemon Rangers. We've got to get tougher than this. That you do. Oh, nice battling, you guys. And I'm actually going to spray Repel so that I can move through this route a lot quicker. Very nice, so Repel has been sprayed. Oh, I see another trainer. Looks like a scientist type. Or one of those uh, nerds. I find it reassuring to be on this damp soil. Hmm, why is that? So I'm challenged by... I was right, Scientist Stefano. And he has a Kadabra. Kadabra. And in normal circumstances, um, Zuni would be at a disadvantage, but Zuni's a lot faster because it's jolly and 9 levels higher, so I'm not worried. So I'm going to be using Fly on this Kadabra because, as you know, Psychic Pokemon have weak defense. So it's Attack Mist. I, I didn't pay attention to what it actually used, but Zuni's just going to destroy it with Fly. And that Kadabra has been beaten. Well, Zuni gained 652 experience, so I've beaten the scientists. You had to beat me. That I did. My Zuni needs the experience. So I can love me enough to level. No, no not even only to level, but to evolve. So I picked up an antidote. Antidotes are always great to have, especially in Nuzlocking, if my Pokemon gets poisoned and if I'm far away from my Poke Center. Well, that shouldn't matter because I have Fly, but anyways. Um, always having antidotes handy is... Um, a good idea to prevent my Pokemon from dying from poisoning. So I need to figure out a way to um, go around, so I'm gonna go this way. Looks like there's very thin bridges um, in this route. And it looks like my repel has wore off, so I need to spray another. Very good. Keep those wild Pokemon at bay. And looks like this may be a fisherman. So let's get started with this battle. I'm proud of my Pokemon. Here, I'll show you why. Hmm, curious. Uh, what type of Pokemon does he have that he's proud of? So it's not a fisherman, it's actually Collector Dominique, and he has three Pokemon. And the first one is a Geodude. And I'm gonna send out Zuni. So I'm going to be using the super effective Steel Wing. I taught it to Zuni so that it can uh, defeat rock Pokemon like Geodude. So down goes Geodude. So the rain keeps on falling. There's nothing I can do to change that unless I teach someone Sunny Day, which I don't want to do. So here comes another Geodude. As um, all collectors do, they have the same species of Pokemon. So uh, another Steel Wing coming right up. So that Geodude is um, very weak. It's only level 17, so that Steel Wing is going to one-shot all of his Geodudes. So here comes his last Geodude. And after this, um, Zuni will probably level up. And hopefully evolve. So that Stealing slammed into Geodude and it's been beaten. 
So let's see if there is a level up. There is, which is great. So I've defeated Collector Dominique. Yowch, you sure showed me how tough you are. Come on, Zuni. Yes, Zuni's evolving. This is what I actually wanted to do today. So have a look at Crobat. Crobat is one of the fastest Pokemon um, ever. Awesome. I love Crobat. So now that my Zuni evolved to Crobat, I'll give some of my other Pokemon some much needed attention. So I'll switch to Top Model. Since Top Model um, still has 9 levels to go to evolve into uh, Metacham. So I'm going to um, battle this fisherman. Water Pokemon sure get happy when it rains, so do I. That's obvious because you love water Pokemon, so um, of course you're going to love the rain. So Fisherman Travis has a team of four water Pokemon. The first one he sends out is a Barboach, which is a water ground Pokemon. So I'll be using Top Model. This will probably be the last battle of the video, so I'm going to go for a confusion. Let's see how much it does without a calm mind. And it's going to be a two hit KO, sadly, but at least it got confused, so that's good. It hopefully hits itself. And it doesn't. It went for a water gun. The water gun only did seven damage. So I'm actually going to set up a calm mind right now so that it, uh, my top model will be able to one-hit KO the rest of his team. But sadly, it snapped out of Confusion and went for a Water Gun. I was, hope I was hoping that the Confusion would take itself out, so it looks like I'm going to have to take it out myself with another Confusion. So here is another Confusion coming right up. So that Barboach went down, finally. It's raining, it's pouring. So here is a Shellos. I'm gonna keep battling. And Shellos has um, pretty good special defense, so this may be a 2 hit KO, I'm pretty sure of it. And yeah. And there's a hidden power, let's see what type it is. Or if it does super effective damage. Oh, that was very weak because it was not very effective. Alright, so I'm going to go for a second confusion on the Shellos, which is definitely going to take it out. Great job for top model. So here is another Barboach, so I'm going to stick with my top model throughout the battle. So hopefully it uh, levels to 29, but I doubt it will in this battle. So this will probably be a one-hit KO on the Barboach. So it was, that was a great job. So let's see what his last Pokemon is. Oh, another Barboach. Um, why am I not surprised? So, alright, it's time for Barboach to take another confusion from top model. So, alright, easy pickings for top model. So, I've defeated Fisherman Travis. Oof, just got trampled. That you did. Your Pokemon are too underleveled, you should train them more. So, alright, this is um, about all the time I have because I'm almost at 15 minutes. So uh, next time I'll keep battling these trainers in this route, so I'll see you guys next time.